According to NASA, the James Webb Space Telescope has made a groundbreaking discovery that suggests that the universe is not 13.8 billion years old, but a mere 27 billion year old. So, how is that possible? In the vast expanse of the cosmos, time and space intertwine in ways that continue to baffle and fascinate us. The age of the universe, a question that has intrigued scientists for centuries, may have a new answer. What if everything we thought we knew about the age of the universe was off by a factor of two? However, recent findings James Webb Space Telescope that this estimate might be significantly off. A new study proposes that the universe could be as old as 27 billion years. In this video today, we'll discuss the discoveries that shaped our understanding of the universe's age and how cosmology could be forever transformed if this new age estimate proves accurate. The question of the universe's age has been a subject of intense debate throughout history, even within the scientific community. However, most cosmologists today agree that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old, with an uncertainty of less than 1%. This age represents the duration of the universe's expansion following the Big Bang. This age is typically determined in one of two ways. The first method involves measuring the universe's expansion rate. This constant is used to measure the rate at which galaxies are moving away from us, which allows us to infer how long it took for them to reach their current positions. The second method involves studying ancient stars in formations such as globular clusters. By examining attributes of these stars, such as their brightness, color, and rotation rate, scientists can estimate their age with a high degree of certainty. This, in turn, provides a minimum age for the universe. Both methods provide compelling evidence that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old, with a margin of error of about 21 million years. Importantly, this estimate aligns well with numerous other observations and models of the universe, including the signatures from the cosmic microwave background radiation. This radiation represents the earliest detectable light signatures from the universe following the Big Bang but few discoveries contradict this estimated age. One example is the Methuselah star, estimated to be 14.5 billion years old, seemingly older than the universe. Critics of the Big Bang theory often cite this as a significant flaw. The Methuselah star's more precise estimate is 14.45 billion years old, with an uncertainty of 0.8 billion years. If we consider the maximum uncertainty, the star's age falls within the universe's current age. But if we consider the uncertainty in the opposite direction, the star's age significantly exceeds our current estimates, posing a significant challenge to current cosmological models. Also, our very own James Webb Space Telescope, the latest marvel in astronomical technology, has made a groundbreaking discovery. Launched on Christmas Day 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, embarked on a mission to capture the earliest light of the universe. The hits just keep coming, one riveting image after another from the far reaches of the universe to planets right here in our own solar system, the Carina Nebula, Stefan's Quintet, and spectacularly, this so-called deep field image, showing thousands of galaxies stretching into the distant universe. It has detected a cluster of galaxies believed to have formed a mere 300 million years after the Big Bang. It is a significant finding, as it provides us with a glimpse into the early universe and the formation of galaxies. Among the ancient light captured by JWS is a galaxy named Jadis GSZ-130. This galaxy holds the record for being the oldest known in the universe, and this is a period long before the formation of our planet. John Mather, a NASA astrophysicist, says that the first galaxies grew differently than we expected, and we don't know why their predictions were wrong. Webb is shedding light on the big answers because it is uniquely capable of seeing them. The JWST operates in the infrared wavelength, which allows it to see the most distant objects in space that are moving away from us as the universe expands. This capability enables the JWS to see a few hundred million years further back in time than previous telescopes, potentially offering glimpses of the universe before stars and galaxies formed. The telescope takes such magnificently sharp images that scientists can actually see the complexity of cosmological processes in operation. 
These galaxies existed 300 million years after the Big Bang, but had the mass and maturity typically seen in billions of years old galaxies. They are also much smaller than expected. While this falls within the current estimated age of the universe, the galaxy's young age contradicts our understanding of galaxy formation. These galaxies, known as the impossible galaxies, suggest that cosmologists may need to revise their models of early universe galaxy formation. But what if we've got it all wrong? What if there is more to prove about the timeline of the universe's age? The study, authored by Rajendra Gupta, a theoretical physicist at the University of Ottawa, introduces a newly devised model. His paper proposes that the universe is about 26.7 billion years old. His theory involves revisiting the tired light theory proposed by Fritz Zwicky, which suggests that the redshift might not be due to galaxies moving away from us, but because light loses energy as it travels across the universe. He suggests that this theory could coexist with an expanding universe, allowing us to reinterpret the redshift as a combination of both phenomena. Gupta also introduces a new idea based on physicist Paul Dirac's hypothesis about coupling constants which are fundamental physical rules that control how particles interact, suggesting that these constants might have changed over time. If this is the case, the time for early galaxies to form extends from a few hundred million years to several billion years, which could explain why the galaxies we see are so advanced for their age. He challenges the traditional interpretation of the cosmological constant, representing dark energy pushing the universe to expand faster. Instead, he proposes a new constant for the evolving coupling constants. This change could help us understand why the early galaxies were smaller than expected and offer a more accurate picture of the universe. Gupta's new model shakes things up, going against much of what we think we know about the universe. But this isn't the first time someone's shaken up our cosmic understanding. History is full of moments where someone comes along and flips everything on its head. And sometimes these wild ideas turn out to be spot on. So imagine for a moment, what if Gupta is right? What would that mean for how we see the universe? If Gupta's theory is proven correct, it will cause quite a stir in the scientific world. Scientists would need to revise most models based on a younger universe. This would reopen previously answered questions about the universe's inception, end, finiteness, and what existed before the Big Bang. The scientific community will scrutinize Gupta's proposal to determine its validity. So. What do you think? Are the measurements of ancient stars and galaxies incorrect? Or is our understanding of the universe's age fundamentally flawed? Is the universe truly 27 billion years old? Or is this just a physicist trying to solve the universe's mysteries or maybe getting a bit carried away? Let's us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, then give it a cosmic thumbs up and don't forget to smash that subscribe button faster than a shooting star. So, while you're still here, click the video on your screen for another Space Adventures.